Well, Kieran, uh, new club, uh, just first day. How's it been so far? Yeah, it's been good. Um, yeah, I was excited about coming in this morning and um, getting back into it. Um, so, yeah, got everyone back on deck now. And, um, yeah, just had to tick the boxes this morning and then tomorrow I'll probably ramp up uh, training-wise. Mate, you've been around a long time, in your early 30s. Uh, what, what excites you the most about the Titans? And uh, like you look really refreshed and happy to be here, but what's, what's exciting you? I just think, yeah, the overall club itself and, and the playing group. I mean, um, you know, a lot of these guys are, you know, just really eager. Um, they got huge potential in front of them and um, that excites me, you know, to, to come up here and be a part of that um, and hopefully, you know, um, add something to this playing group is, is, is what I'm really looking forward to. You're certainly not here for a holiday, are you? I mean, that's the thing. Like, look, people talk about coming to the Gold Coast, you know, lifestyle, but football, so tell us about what you want to still achieve in your footy career. Yeah, look, I, I just think the footy club is in a really uh, promising position, I think. Um, you know, it's been a long time since they've, I guess, felt some, you know, real genuine success and, and consistent success, and, um, you know, it's not going to be easy, it's not going to come easy, but, um, you know, I think they're heading in the right direction, and, um, you know, they've got everything that they need, and, you um, yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm excited to, to hopefully be a part of um, some success up here. You sort of already met a few of the boys, haven't spent some time apart, but it must be good after the Christmas break to be able to re-catch up and sort of finally now get into the prop stuff. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I guess, um, yeah, being able to come in in December and, and get to know the, the guys and, and um, get familiar with them and then, you know, that's all out of the way now. Now we can, can focus on the footy component and, and what we need to, I guess, improve on as a footy side and um, yeah, get ready for, for this long and, and gruelling season. Before we get to the footy questions, the family all settled up, the kids all moved up and got Yeah, here. yeah, no, we're, we're really excited as a family to, to be moving up here. It's, um, as you said before, you know, it's a great area, you know, it's a great spot to, to, to live in, and um, yeah, we're just going to get settled over the next you know, couple of weeks, and yeah, excited. Mate, how was the swim? You just jumped in there like it's not a bad first day at the office, is it? It's good, yeah. But you come from a beaching club. Yeah, right? yeah, no, I'm used to the beach, obviously, you know, having been down at, at Manly, but um, yeah, it's great. The you know, water temperature was nice. It's good like, to have it. Okay, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. As I say, but I noticed you're gravitating to the fellow halves, and obviously <laughs> a lot of conversation about where, how it's all going to work. I know it's your first day, but you know, yeah. it's interesting, isn't it, how the dynamic could happen for you? Yeah, for sure, yeah. Obviously, you, you naturally, I guess, um, end up chatting to the guys that you're you know, going to be, I guess, close to the ball with. And, um, you know, I, I love talking footy, so um, it's something that I'll, I'll continue to do with these guys, uh, you know, over the coming weeks so that we can, can get nice and tight um, so that the combinations on the field, you know, run smoothly. There were some reports that you were actually in contact with them during the last half of the last season like you know talking about stuff and possibilities is that is that true I know about it? that uh, <laughs> yeah um no nah, look um like i said just yeah focused on on what we need to do here at the moment and um yeah as i said i'll be building those those combinations as, as quickly as i can do you think you know obviously you know you're such a huge name and like they always talk about you know being the, the problem solver do you you're used to that sort of wherever you go aren't you you're sort of seen as a, as a major tool in any club Oh, look, I think um, at the end of the day, you know, I'm, I'm a sort of guy that, that wants to compete in anything I do and, um, and, and continue to get better. And, um, you know, that's what I'll be hoping to pass on to, to a lot of these guys, you know, who are early on in their careers. Um, you know, I've been at it for a long time now, so um, it's something that I continue to do is, is strive to be better. And, um, you know, that's, that's what I'm here to, here to do. You're happy. Bo Sorry, you go. Your body, you know, obviously had a couple of years where it wasn't, but it, you know, it seems to have come good. What you're going to write is that you're doing anything extra special of you, but you know, like yeah. just not going in head first yeah. or more or what. Yeah, it's been a bit of everything actually. Yeah, we, you know, changed um, a lot of my training techniques a couple of years ago now, and um, you know, looked at what we could adjust um, when I got back to Manly, and um, yeah, it's been working really well for me. My body's, you know, responding as well as it. You know, ever has, and um, yeah, I just got to keep keep on top of it, keep doing what I'm doing, and and, and like I said, keep getting better. Pretty yeah, yeah. day one for you. We missed you out on field this morning. Yeah, yeah, I was I was doing all the um, all the box ticking stuff up in the in the offices. I had to um, you know get all my my physical assessments done, and 
um, yeah, I wasn't able to get out there this morning, but I'll join the boys tomorrow and then it'll be all systems go from there. On those physical sort of assessments, so how confident are you in the body? Are you feeling good? How is it sort of all? Yeah, extremely confident. You know, um, I feel as, as well as I've ever felt physically um, and mentally. And um, yeah, like I said, I've, I've changed uh, a lot of my training methods and, and what I, how I prepare for games and, and what I need to do there. And um, I'll be doing exactly that. Um, coming up here and making sure that I'm, I'm ready to go. How have those conversations work between the club and yourself? Obviously you know your body better than anyone, but yep. working with this group, it's important that you're still out there and, and helping experience you know, these, these younger guys. Yeah, excited about working with the, um, the staff here as well, you know. The, the, got a lot of quality guys here that'll be able to add to what I'm doing, uh, what I have been doing um, physically. So that's exciting. I'm really looking to buy in there and, um, and yeah, improve, like I said, you know, get my body even even physically, you know, better than what it has been the last few seasons and, and go another level. What did you do, Karen? So you played every game last year and I think you played 24 the season before that. So yeah. I mean, no one can question where you're at physically, but what, what did you change? Yeah, just like I said, it was a you know pretty detailed um, and, and gruelling sort of, I guess, training program that, that I really bought into and, um, you know, I just stuck at it um, and, and I got the results and, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's proven to work, um, so I've just got to keep at it and, and, like I said, with the guys up here now coming to a new club, um, they'll be able to even add to that even more and um, yeah, that'll be my main focus. What about six and seven? Can you play both? I know, but at Manly, you went back to your old role. Yep. You know, you get DCE over the other side, you were on the left there. How, yep. how do you see this unfolding with someone like maybe Brimson? Yeah. How, how do you look at that? Yeah, I'm excited. I mean, uh, there's a number of options there and I think that's what Justin's been saying throughout the pre-season is he hasn't made his mind up yet. He's not sure what the makeup of the spine's going to look like. and. Um, you know, that's exciting. I think, you know, all of us can can adjust on the run, can all play a certain number of positions and roles. And look, I think, um, yeah, we'll probably feel that out over the first few weeks and um, and then get settled on, on those combinations and, and build that familiarity with one another so that we can, um, you know, hit the ground running come trials and, and round one. How much say would you have in who gets to partner and go, and go where? Because you've got each experience that you can bring and you've yeah. seen heaps of different positions. Will you Three, in your five not at all. No, it's not not my my place to. I'm a player. Uh, my job's to get on and and do whatever the coaches ask of me. So um, that'll be no different this time around. I'll, I'll be focusing on on where Justin you know feels that that I'm best suited for the side. Um, whether that's six, whether that's seven, time will tell. Um, I'm quite comfortable playing both roles, and I'm sure the other guys are too. So we'll just we'll have a feel as I said, around that the next few weeks and then hopefully we can get settled on it. It's mean, exciting awesome. though as well for you because there's so many, many options in different positions and the fact that everyone's so young as well, that must yeah. make it easier for you to sort of step in and you'll have to keep stepping up yourself as well just because of how many people are fighting for positions. Yeah, it's great to have competition for spots. You need it in, in, in your club and you also need the depth. Um, you're not going to get through a full season without any injuries and in key positions. and. Um, we know that, so you know it's great to have a number of guys that are able to to come in and and, and really excel at their job, and um, yeah, we'll we'll have depth uh, any which way we go. Of those number of guys, is there one that surprised you or sort of different than what you sort of would have thought when you first sort of signed with the club and, and head up here? Yeah, oh look, a number of them have impressed me so far. Um, you know, I haven't done too much with them just yet, but from what I've seen, um, there's a lot of you know, uh, look, Jaden Campbell is an excitement machine. Uh, Jojo Fafida is, you know, a phenomenal athlete for a kid of his age. Um, you know, AJ Brimson's, you know, ready to go. So, and then you got Toby and, and Tanner, who are, you know, great um, young halfbacks um, at the start of their careers. So, yeah, look, a lot of them excite me. Um, it'll be great to, to build build the combinations with all of those guys and, and work out um, what's best for the footy side. And we know you're obviously, sorry, um, we know you're going to be a leader in this group, but yeah. what about captaincy and things like that, you know, kind of knew what Adam Reynolds did up in Brisbane with the Broncos, do you see yourself taking over that kind of role in this team? Not at the moment, no, I guess, um, look, Tino's been doing uh, a sensational job um, from my point of view, I think he did an admirable job last season and um, you know, he's a guy who leads from the front. Um, captaincy hasn't even uh, crossed my mind. Uh, I just want to get settled, um, get into the footy side, um, 
work out, you know, what my role within the within the team, and then, yeah, look, naturally, I guess I'm I'm going to lead uh, in in any way I can, but um, no, I think, look, I, I I'm really comfortable with with what Tino's um, shown so far. He's he's a great young man, and um, from my point of view, he's a guy to, to really lead this club forward. Have you had any chats with him? Because obviously, he would really appreciate the help that you could pass on to him. Well, yeah, look, I, I, I'm always going to be a helping hand for him. Like I said, I, I've been around the game a long time, and um, if he if he needs a hand on that front, I'll always uh, be a voice. You know, I'm a pretty vocal guy, and um, you know, happy to, to always share share my thoughts on on, on that front. But um, yeah, look, I, I'll I'll do what I can there. But um, yeah, just focused on, on on getting myself right. If you're just in a you know not a bloody sermon, but like just a few words, what was Justin's? Selling best-selling pitch for you to get here. What, what, what was the thing that got you across the line, perhaps, with Justin? I think his vision for the club. You know, I think um, you know they've obviously you know learned some tough lessons over the last few seasons, but they've also shown a lot of promise. And um, I think Justin's got them to a position now uh, as a footy footy side and a footy club that they're they're really ready to, I guess, go that next next step. And um, yeah, I was, I was really excited to. To come up here and be a part of that, it's um, it's something that yeah is you know would be great to to be a part of. Um, so yeah, and obviously the the ultimate goal, the Holy Grail, because one of the few clubs obviously in the Warriors have been a win at GF. And like as you say, like there's a lot of kids here, but a lot of them also play 30, 40 games. Yeah, they are primed to, to, in your words, take the next step. Yeah, yeah. Look, it's it's going to be look, it's going to be baby steps. Going to be one step at a time. We're not going to, I guess, make any outlandish. <laughs> Sort of, I guess, views on on, yeah. on what we're going to achieve this year. But um, I can tell you, we're, we're working as hard as we can. Uh, we're getting ourselves as, in as good a shape as, as possible, and um, we'll be doing everything we can to have a successful year. Wish me luck on this one. But are you going to tell DCE what he missed out on when he because he obviously <laughs> was a story, that was a well documented story, but not coming up here. Yeah, nah, nah, he's uh, look, he's he's one of my great mates, Daly, and he's he's very settled down there on the northern beaches. He's um. Yeah, I guess he's, he's happy down there and um, we'll have a few conversations throughout the year for sure. A few shenanigans going on down there though. Yeah. He made the right move, do you think, maybe? Not to put, you know... Oh, look, you know, um, forever grateful for what Manly mm. um, provided me in my footy career. They've been a wonderful club to me and, um, you know, I've got a lot of great mates there, so they'll continue to, to strive for success.